Hello, and welcome to the Spartan Newsroom. Thanks for joining us. I'm Alina Juravel. And I'm Luke Sacone. This is your Spartan News update for October 10th, 2018. A limo crashed into a ditch after failing to stop at a stop sign. The vehicle was carrying 30 people, killing 20 of the individuals inside. The driver of the limo was ticketed in August for not having the correct licenses for the vehicle. However, the wife of the limo driver, Kim Lissanikia, thinks that her husband is being targeted and wrongfully accused. If he didn't have the proper license, this still would have happened. And I feel like he still would have got blamed. Federal documents also. In a turn of events, Hurricane Michael has developed into a Category 4 hurricane overnight and has just touched down in the Florida Panhandle as of 12.30 this afternoon. Officials in Panama City Beach stated that they will not be able to respond to emergency calls and the Inland Fire Department will only respond to life-threatening situations within city limits. Authorities are urging those in the storm's path to take shelter immediately. Fishing on the Great Lakes in October isn't such a crazy thing, given the 80-degree weather we've been having. But fisherman David Castaneda from Chicago had the ultimate experience when he discovered a four-foot American alligator with its mouth taped shut in Lake Michigan. Castaneda thought the alligator was a toy, but quickly discovered it was not, and called the police. Despite being used to warm water, the alligator is doing fine after being in the colder Lake Michigan. Three dogs have been brutally abused and the owner was charged for domestic violence. The dogs were stuffed into a banged up wire crate when they arrived at the Animal Rescue League of Iowa. One dog was a young puppy and the other two adult dogs were adults with deep indentations, abrasions, and scarring around their muzzles and jaws. Just like putting a rubber band around your, your finger, you know, after a while it's going to cut off, cut off that circulation. And, uh, you know, so it had been on there for a little while and, and it doesn't take long. So, yeah, it was, it was definitely painful for the dog. Sunday afternoon, the Detroit Lions defeated their NFC North rival, the Green Bay Packers, in a final score of 31-23. to Even with the win, the Lions still remain at the bottom of their division at 2-3. Wide receiver Golden Tate spoke to media after the game and said, We just got to put it together consistently. They will have the chance to do that facing the Miami Dolphins following their bye week. In the spirit of Halloween, a South Philadelphia building appears to have an octopus trapped inside it. There are 20 tentacles stretching out of the building, all of them between 32 and 40 feet long. Filthy Lucre and Pedro Estrellas, artists from the United Kingdom, created the inflatable work of art. Navy Yard and Group X partnered with the art duo to bring the attraction to Philadelphia. It will stay on display until November 16th. That's all for today's Spartan News Update. I'm Luke Sacone. And I'm Alina Juravel. Thanks for watching.